Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's lesson, we will learn how to create waistband, a proper waistband. So here I have my t-shirt and there is a waistband here, which doesn't look that good right now. So let's make it interesting. First of all, what we need to do is that select these uh, both of them, right click on it and make a clone over it. So it will become thicker. But usually whenever you create a clone over, the parts are kind of linked together. They are symmetrical. So what you need to do, you have to select them or you can say they're uh, instance. So you can select both of them and uh, we can make them, uh, we can remove linking okay, from each one of them. And we will apply a symmetrical part to these sides basically. And as well to the bottom side, both of them. And here we go. Okay. So for the time being, I can select these two shift Q and this will hide in the 3D window so that we can actually work on the one that we have here. First of all, I will create a new fabric here. The reason is that because we wanted to create a very tough fabric. So I will make a new fabric and then I will go bottom and in the physical properties, I will choose a uh, something like a rigid, a fusible rigid here. Okay. And, or you can even choose a uh, full grain leather. I will choose fusible rigid here. And then I will apply on both of them. Now, what you need to do, double click it, make it smaller so it will become tighter. Now if I will simulate it, so, it will attach in this form okay so i i can pull it up uh so it won't uh create this sort of effect or you can keep it okay so that's that's enough okay so you can see that it's quite tight now right now i can move from here as well Okay, so that's, uh, it'll be fine, I guess. Now, what I need to do is that I have to select these two, first turn off the simulation and shift Q just to see where we have this. Okay, so here we have it. And if I will simulate it, you can see that effect is created here. Now, what we need to do is that turn this off. Take the edit pattern tool. We don't have to worry about the other side because they are symmetrical. So I will take this part here, the bottom part, right click over here, offset the internal line. Okay, and a little bit, 1.5 is fine. And create these. So they are not balanced. So what I can do here is that I can reduce the number of the distance, maybe 48 or 45. Yeah, that's good. 1.41. Okay. And three. Done. And once this is done, I will go and do the same thing. To the one that is, uh, which is on the bottom. Okay, select this, right click, uh, offset up, uh, internal line. And already it's it actually records what you have done in the last uh, step. Press OK. 
Once this is done, what we can do now is that take the segment sewing tool and stitch these lines together. So it will be pressed to each other. Okay. Now, if I have a simulated, you will get a quite interesting result out of it. Okay, so now you can see how it is reacting. Let me zoom in so you can see much more closer. Okay, this is how you will get the result from it. Now, one more thing that we can do with, uh, with the help of uh, ease line is to apply elasticity on it. So let's turn this off and take my edit pattern tool, select these lines only. And once I will select it, I will get this menu over here. And here there is an elastic option have to be turned on. Once it is turned on, I have here ratio. As much I will increase the ratio, it will become a more and more elastic. Okay, the, the strength of elasticity will increase. Strength of, uh, the, uh, like it's, it's basically uh, strength is here, but ratio is the same, uh, is, is the main thing that you do that. It's, it's basically calculates the elasticity through the ratio. So if I will increase it to 90 or something like that, or even a little bit more here, and then simulate it. So you can see that what sort of a result we are getting out of it. Okay. And one more thing we can do here is if I, if you can use the, if you will use the normal default, uh, like simulation. So the quality will be better than the GPU. So yeah, you can see that how the quality is now. Takes a little time here. And if I turn it off, now keep in mind, because we duplicated this one, okay, we chose this one and we duplicated it. So it's using Fabric 2, this one is using Fabric 2 as well. So I don't want this to have the Fabric 2 option, uh, same like option. I will use here Fabric 1. Okay. And I can simply drag and drop over here. So the result will be different now. Because uh, the Fabric 1 actually is more of uh, stronger. Okay. And rigid. But this is not that rigid. Okay. So you can see that the result is uh, now a little different. Okay. Now, one more thing we can do with this is with the internal lines. Let's see that. So we have this model right now here. And I want the elasticity, uh, elasticity what I did with the baseband, I can do on the sleeves as well. So to do that, what I have to do first of all is to select my edit pattern, click on this line, right click on it, offset internal line, and I can increase the distance a little more here, maybe a little lesser. Okay, once it is done, and if I uh, will simulate it right now, so you will see there is no change here. If I will take these lines, okay, and except for the first one, because that I just have added it, or if you want, you can take that, but I will just ignore that line. I can turn on my elasticity. As soon as I will do that, you will notice what's happening here now. So I can increase the ratio of it. And you can see it is going to the other side now. If I will decrease it, it is going to this side right now. Okay. 
So you can decrease the ratio, ratio to have this sort of an effect here. Okay. Now it kind of looks like girly, but uh, this is how you get the result here. Maybe. And maybe strength a little bit more or less. Okay, totally up to you. Now, one more thing to see a good result if you can reduce its particle distance to 5 or even to 2 so you will get a better look of it because as uh, lower the particle distance will be it the effect will become more prominent okay so let's see how the result will look like now this so now you can see that it is simulating. And this is how it is producing the result. Okay. So if you want to create this effect or the waistband effect, the one that we created that, okay, we were actually increasing the ratio because it was top on each other. We could reduce the ratio also to make it more tighter. So that you can also do uh like with it or decrease or increase because it's, it was basically sewed and it was uh stitched on uh on top of each other so that's why we were using the we were increasing the uh, the ratio instead of decreasing the ratio so i hope this is uh, clear okay and if you liked uh, my video so please uh Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet and hit the bell icon also. And to support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. If you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 